tucked away in the corner of a park in Birmingham sits a shed. It's not your typical man shed in the garden though. Walk in and you'll see people of all ages, gender and ethnicity using their creativity as a way of escape. The shed is all about um, people, mainly elderly people who've probably retired, been through a divorce, been through a bereavement, suffering isolation, suffering loneliness. And what we do, we bring these people together. They've got an awful lot of skills. They might have retired work on Friday, been a woodwork, metalwork, craft. And then all of a sudden they're sitting at home and they don't know what to do. Paul is a policeman for West Midlands Police. In his spare time, this is where he comes. The shed started welcoming residents last November, and since then, it's been the home of hidden talent. A lot of people make things and they take it home for the family. They've never made things in their life before. Uh, and they come in and we've got an awful lot of people that are going to offer our skills and they'll say, well, I've never made anything. Can you show me what to make? And we'll probably make some planters, we'll probably make a stall, probably make some bird boxes. So far, there are 60 members, seven of which are female. Sandra is one of them after her daughter came across the project online and proves that there's no room for stereotypes inside this shed. You know, I think more women ought to get um, involved because this isn't hard, especially when you've got all the tools that they've got here and you've got experts to show you how to use those tools. And it saves them an awful lot of money if they can do these jobs themselves instead of getting somebody round to the house to do it for them. But it's not just stereotypes, isolation and loneliness that the shed tackles. It's also pollution. I would say that um, probably 95% of the products that we use have either been given to us, our waste, our scrap metal, our pallets, our items that have been found in skips. And there's all, I, I, I've got, I always say that there's nothing in a skip that can't be used. In time, Paul hopes that he can expand the shed so there's more space to invite people. Other than that, he's proud of what it's achieved. A place that can brighten up anybody's day just by walking in. Roshni Patel for The Midland in Moseley.